In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to add some dynamic energy when you have a picture-in-picture, picture, especially when the picture you have that you're superimposing on your video happens to be a still image. It can be rather static, boring. Let's show you how to enhance that. First of all, please look at this example, and then we'll show you a bit about doing things like this yourself. So what I'm going to do right now is take my picture of this candy, drag it to track number two, and then we're going to lengthen it to fit the duration of our video. Next thing I want to do is do some editing. So with it highlighted, well, first of all, just make it smaller because it is a picture in picture. We'll start maybe up here and then let's add a little bit of flair to it. So I'm going to click on the edit button and let's add a border to it. If I click here, it gives me the option for a border. But right now the border is one color. I'd like more than one color, but it looks like I don't have that option. I do if I click on the advanced button on the left side. Let's do that. And now when I look at my border controls, I have solid color, which I had before, but I also have two and four color gradient. Let's take a two color gradient. I'll change my start color and let's pick a simple black that will give me a black to white and click on OK. And I can also change the rotation here wherever I want the white to start. And so now I have enhanced it just a little bit with a border, but we're not done. I'm going to click on OK and let's also add some motion inside our still image. To do that, I want to click on my pan and zoom tool on the left side and I'm going to select at the very bottom user defined. Here I have my pan and zoom tool. Let's magnify it and let's start with looking at only a little bit of the chocolate and we'll move our start part over here and then we'll click down at the bottom in our timeline and click a plus by the blue diamond that will set another keyframe. And if I move that, the keyframe will go this direction and let's enlarge it just a little bit. Let's move over here, click again and set another keyframe. And in this place, let's move down here, make it bigger still. And we'll do one more. We could do as many as you want. Click here, choose the diamond with a plus again, and we'll move down here and make sure we stay within the image of the picture. And then let's make it a little bigger yet. Oh, got to stay within there. Okay, now we're going to look at our preview screen to see if it works if I stayed where I wanted to be. Let's try that. That's what it looks like. Not too bad so far. Staying within, giving a little motion and energy inside our picture. And that looks pretty good. OK, we'll click on OK. Now what I have is I have a border on it and I also have some motion. So it adds just a little bit of energy to our image, but we're not done yet. Let's do one more thing. So what I'm going to do is stop this. And now I want to actually move my picture in picture onto the screen and make it flow with the flow of the chocolate. But when I try to move it, I can move it up. And if I move it up just enough, I have these slider bars that show. And so I'm going to start off the screen. Let's start at the first frame. And now I want to do is move it on. And I'm on the advanced. And now I want to go and do some keyframing. So I'm going to slide this up here where I begin to see it. We're going to start with a position value and a scale value at the first frame. 
and then I want it to mimic the movement of the chocolate. Let's move over a little bit here. The chocolate is down this far. Let's take and move it down. But I also want it, as it moves down, to slightly enlarge. So we're going to enlarge it just a little bit. Then we'll move here. The chocolate's down farther. We're going to move it a little bit to the left and down and make it bigger still. Let's move over here. We're going to see the title start to pop in. Let's make it just settle on the title. Move down just a little bit more. And enlarge it just slightly for the last time here. There we go. And click on OK. Let's play it and see what we see. Now you notice it's a bit jerky, but it will not be in the final production. I'm using real-time preview and that's one of the consequences. And so that's a way in which you can enhance a picture-in-picture -in, -picture in one of several ways in order to add a little more energy to your production.